Hey guys, are you stuck trying to figure out how to beat the Divine Beast Naboris? Do you want to know how to access all the terminals and know where all the treasure chests are? In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get to everything, and we're getting started right now. Now, just to kind of level set, when you first get started on this quest, there are a few prereqs that you have to complete in order to get to the actual Divine Beast Naboris. You'll have to sneak into Gerudo Town by finding women's clothing, which can ultimately be found by a guy standing on the roof in Karakara Bazaar. After that, you can sneak in, complete another quest, which leads you to getting inside of the Divine Beast Naboris. If you need help with that part, then just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to walk you through it. I also have a Discord server and Instagram where you can message me directly if you need to. As you progress through the game, you'll meet Riju and she'll give you 20 bomb arrows and will take you closer to the Divine Beast to start the actual battle. You'll need to stay within the shield that she provides so you don't get zapped by the lightning that Naboris is using to keep you away. Once you get close enough, shoot each foot twice with a bomb arrow and then you'll be able to hop inside shortly thereafter. So once you're inside, you'll kill the first enemy and make your way up the ramps to enter into the middle cavity of the beast, which oddly resembles a camel. You'll kill the eye to the right, and that'll open the door for you to enter. Once you're inside, make your way all the way to the back of the camel so you can grab the first treasure chest. You'll need to use stasis to freeze time on the chest, and then use an arrow to cut the rope, and then get your magnesis ready to grab the chest as it's falling once stasis expires. And if you timed it just right, you'll have a treasure chest as your reward. Next we're going to turn around and go back into the middle cavity of the camel beast. Take a left and make your way up the ramp. This is the map terminal where you can gain access to the map of the beast and also gain the ability to spin the camel's interior. The camel has three rings that you can maneuver to gain access to terminals and treasure chests. After you've received the map, you're going to turn around and glide to the middle platform. You're going to take a right, kill the enemy, and then take another right. You'll find a door there and you'll access the map to spin the ring twice and then you'll hop inside of the little chamber where the terminal is. You'll spin the ring once more and that'll allow you to access this first terminal. Leave me a comment below and let me know which one of these terminals were the worst for you. Just put a timestamp in your comment so I'll know which one you're talking about. I'd really like to know which one was the worst for everyone. Once you've activated the terminal, spin the ring three times and make your way out of the same door that you came in. Head back to the middle chamber and toward the right. You'll see a door in the middle at the bottom, but then also another door in the middle of the wall, and it'll have a gate on it. You can find a way to get to the middle door with the gate by spinning the ring closest to Naboris' head and riding one of the platforms up and then glide over to that door. Next, you're going to want to pull up your map, and you'll notice that some of the rings have the green line and some have the orange line. You're simply going to align all three so that the lines are at the top of the camel's back. They will all turn green once aligned, which basically enables the electricity to flow throughout and causes the wall that you're standing by to start to rotate. In addition, the door with the gate is now unlocked. Here you'll want to sprint to the end of the tunnel, avoiding the lasers, and shoot the eye to gain access to one of the chests. Head back to the middle chamber and jump on the closest platform in front of you. Turn to each side and use a bomb to destroy the rock walls. The right side will have an enemy, and the left side will have a chest. Make your way back to the middle chamber and hop back on the same platform that you were on. Peek around and look underneath the middle platform and you'll want to shoot the eye which ultimately unlocks its grip on the chest located on the middle platform. Now you can rotate the middle ring once to gain access to the first chest. And then you'll have to go back to your map and align the three rings so that the lines are at the top. This will start to rotate the wall once again. 
and then you'll run back to the wall, you'll stand in the doorway and ride the wall up and then jump to the highest platform. You'll find another terminal in which you can access and activate. You now have three terminals remaining. Then you'll rotate the middle ring a few times so that you can have a clear shot at gliding down to the unopened chest. Guys, if you are finding this video to be helpful, then hit the like button. Alright, so next we will need to align the lines at the top of the camel once again and hop into the doorway of the rotating wall and ride it to the topmost doorway. Once we're there, you'll see Naboris' head. Hop down and find a gear that you can rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. When you rotate, the small electricity connectors will spin and eventually connect. You need to rotate clockwise and counterclockwise until each side is connected. Then once you do, Naboris' head will raise and you'll find an elevator that will take you to the top where you'll find another terminal. You now have two terminals remaining. After that, head back to the middle chamber and run all the way back to the back side of the camel. You'll rotate the ring closest to the camel's backside. Find the chamber that you accessed from the first terminal and you'll hitch a ride to the top on that. If you do it correctly, you can just kind of walk right over and access the topmost door on this wall. And then once you're there, you'll find four electrical connectors that you can move with Magnesis. So you're going to use Magnesis to move the one on the ceiling to the front and then the one on the top right to the front as well, and then move the other two to the back. Once you do, the platform will raise and you'll need to make your way quickly to the back side of the platform and you'll hitch a ride to the top. This can be a little tricky, so I recommend extending Magnesis as far as possible and then walk backwards. Once the electrical connector is in place, you'll sprint to the ledge that's behind you and make your way to the top. Once you make it to the top, kill the eye. It'll allow access for the next room. You'll enter the room and you'll shoot another eye to the right, and then you'll climb to the next floor. Turn left and hop through the black sludge and grab the treasure chest. Then hop back to the other side of the room to access the spinning gear. Now if you position your camera just right, you'll find a white dot that is on the bottom of the circle. You're basically going to spin the gear and move the white dot to the top of the circle, which ultimately connects the electricity and enables the moving bridge. Ride the bridge to the next room, kill the enemy, and ride the elevator to the bottom floor. Kill the eye that is on the ceiling and that will unlock access to your next terminal. So then you'll ride back to the middle floor and activate that terminal and at that point you have a single terminal remaining. Next you're going to ride the elevator to the top and you'll find a ball of electricity. Use Magnesis to grab the item and then carry it with you to the bottom floor you'll use it to unlock the door at the bottom. Also, you'll see an eye in the corner, so don't forget to take it out. Once the door is opened, you'll want to kill the two enemies, and then you'll grab the electrical ball and place it on the connector in the next room. You'll need to proceed further to find the second electrical ball, which will remove the gate from the final terminal. In the next room, you'll have an eye in the corner and likely have a floating enemy in the opposite corner, so just be sure to take them both out. You'll want to ride the elevator to the top, and then you'll find a ledge that's between floors two and three with an electrical ball. 
you will also find another ledge that you can glide to and open another chest. So you'll use Magnesis once again and you'll be able to place that ball on the connector on the bottom floor to unlock the final terminal. And then you can run back and grab the chest once you're finished there. Now that you've unlocked all the terminals, you can make your way back to the middle chamber. Once there, rotate all the rings so the electrical lines are aligned at the bottom. You should be able to find an easy way to access the middle platform and then access the main terminal. Next up is the actual boss battle with Thunder Blight Ganon, so if you want to continue this guide, then click the video on the screen. And if you're new here, then click the round icon to subscribe and gain access to all of my other how-to videos.